What's up everyone and welcome to Lavas. Here at Lavas, we upload videos every single week to help you with your keto journey. Today's video is a recipe review on matcha green tea energy bites from Erica at livingwellmom.com. Matcha is a variation of green tea that's been recently gaining a bunch of popularity and has a ton of health benefits. Usually you'd brew matcha into tea, but today we're gonna make them into some fat bombs. Hey guys, so for this recipe, all we have to do is take all of our ingredients, put them in a food processor, and we don't even have to refrigerate it this time, so it is super easy. First, we'll start off with one cup of unsweetened shredded coconut. Now add in four tablespoons of almond flour. One tablespoon of coconut oil. <laughs> and we're adding two tablespoons of Walden Farms pancake syrup. So this recipe actually isn't keto, um, so we just turned to keto by using the sugar-free maple syrup. Now for the ultimate ingredient, guys. Look at this. So we're gonna be adding one tablespoon of green tea matcha powder. Fun fact about this powder, my brother lives in Japan and I kind of got crazy about matcha tea because of Starbucks, but that's full of sugar. So I asked my mom to grab me some, so the matcha that we're using is actually straight from Japan and it makes me super excited. I have a bunch of bags of these. And just remember that the color will vary from bright to dark depending on what type of matcha you get. So we'll add in one tablespoon of green tea matcha. What do you think of that? What? How it feels? Um, my hands are starting to get really oily. Rebecca and Alex show! I love us! <laughs> Green tea. <laughs> Much energy bite. This is springtime love right here. What do you think of that? What do you guys I like think? I like that. I like the coconut and the matcha. I think I'd put coconut into matcha tea. Start making some bulletproof matcha tea. Some mm. coconut oil. That sounds like an experiment that I would like to do. I would say yeah. It, it's a really good balance of ingredients for sure. It's still kind of handheld. It's a little bit oily when you're like rolling it up, right? Yeah. But even just keeping it out at room temperature. It's definitely a very, very unique taste. What would you give it for flavor? Thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up too. It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit like it might take you some getting used to. Uh, it's very like earthy. She did comment in the recipe that um, she doesn't really like them very sweet. So if you want to add more maple syrup into it, that you can add three tablespoons and um, only add a half tablespoon of coconut oil. Oh, what did you think of the texture? Um, I don't even remember the texture. Yeah, I like the texture a lot. <laughs> it's almost like a soft macaroon. Yeah, I mean the texture's fine. I don't really think it's anything special, but I'd still give it a thumbs up. And what'd you think of the recipe? The recipe is super easy. She just tells you to put them into a processor and then enjoy them. <laughs> so, <laughs> processor, balls, and enjoy them. And I think the fact that you don't have to do anything else, like, how could you mess that up? There's only five ingredients too, so super clear, super simple. And she has pictures in it too, so if you can't read, then you got that. Would you make it again? Yes. Yeah. It's it's really it's really nice to have a fat bomb. Like I'm I'm really obsessed with like cookie dough fat bombs and all that sweet stuff. 
but um, it's really nice to have like a fat bomb that is kind of taste almost like cleansing. It almost tastes good for you. It's almost right. I don't know. It seems a lot a lot better for you than the average fat bomb. So that's awesome. They're kind of getting addicting now. I kind of like want a third one now that I've had right? one and a half. Yeah. And I mean, matcha is caffeinated, so. Oh. <laughs> that's why you get that energy. And that's true. Energy that's true. We didn't mention that. So thank you, Erica Bracton at livingwellmom.com. We really enjoyed these. Don't forget to go check her out. And also, don't forget to like this video. As you can see, we do enjoy turning non keto recipes into keto recipes as well. So if you have a non keto recipe that you've been dying to try, just let us know in the comments and we'll give it a shot. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye.